Hi there, today you are going to join Jenny and me as we go to our friend's Goodwill. They have a small but mighty Goodwill. I say that because this is on the small side, the hard goods section is small. I've been here before, I've filmed here before, but I always come away with stuff in my cart. Here we are looking at an end cap. They had some Christmas things here and um, wasn't really seeing a whole lot of Christmas stuff at first. And I was getting a little worried that it wasn't gonna be a mighty day, but it turned out pretty good. In the Christmas section over to the one side, they had this Hallmark ornament and I have these ornaments. I believe that they're called Language of Flowers. This is either the first or the second in the series. This is what all of them look like. I found a picture off of eBay. This is not my listing. And I have these. So that was like, oh, I have these. This was a vintage arrangement. It still had the original price tag, I believe, attached to it. I thought about it for a second. It was attached to a big piece of wood. When I flip it over, you will see it here. See, it was only $2.99. But just the quality of them, uh, it was borderline not so great, but I felt that did have some age. And then on the top here, I wasn't sure if this was old or meant to look old because some of the decorations you can find now have vintage looks to them. So I wasn't sure if that was old or not. They do have their shelves divided by color. So here is the green or yellow section. Under, sorry about that. I was trying to make it a little bit wider for you. Underneath that bowl was this. It's a hobbyist piece. It was signed on the bottom. At first, I thought it was glass, but when I picked it up, I realized it was a hobbyist piece. Isn't that a funny mug? <laughs> that I saw that. Put it down. <laughs> and then they had some wall decorations here, but only the one piece. You're yes. in with the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That rolled right out of your cart. I mean, I could have done that if I tried. Ready? There you go. There you go. Pizza pan. Jen was the first in to find something for her cart. I was teasing her that what she was going to find because she always finds organizational things. It was baskets last time we are here, and before that it was glass canisters. So she went with a pizza tray. I saw this crystalline glaze vase, thought about it, had it in my cart for a little bit, and then I, I did put it back on the shelf. It was reasonably priced at uh, $3.99. There wasn't a marking. There looks like there was a sticker originally there that no longer is there. It, the reason why I put it back was the, the size of it because I have another vase that's pretty tall. I think I have two of them that are pretty tall and they're just sitting in the store. So I decided even though this is really pretty and I like the crystalline glaze, I decided to end up and I put that back. Inside this box was mommy's sippy cup and you guessed it, it was the big wine glass. <laughs> Here we are in the blue section, seeing if there's any vintage things that I can find. Here was a paperweight, but it had a lot of markings on it. I was looking to see if it was marked or engraved in any kind of way, but it wasn't. And because of that scratching on there, I did end up putting that back. Moving on, they have kind of a small Easter section. And I was looking through this bag of critters, seeing if there's anything in there that caught my eye. But what really caught my eye was this teapot. Look at that. Some of you might already know, and now we all know this is Fitz and Floyd. And I'm gonna show you some recent sold comps from this. get any of these glasses out to look at them. I really like the Chantilly glasses. That's what I bought the box for, but the added bonus of the King's Crown makes it even better. This is an Alaskan Ulu knife. This wasn't a very fancy one. You can find one, find ones in Alaska that have very decorative handles to them. Uh, so I left that on the shelf. And this, I almost bought, I felt it was vintage, but a lot of the paint on the one side, I, you see it real quickly, was chipped. So I left that there. 
I really like this. <laughs> it's old, that not too old, because 1974 is a very special year. But I really like, even though there's some of the tails are missing on two of the lizards or geckos, I really thought it was really cute. See, there and there, there's two missing. And then look how one is peeking out on the top of the little urn or vase here. I thought it was very, very sweet. And then Jen found another one to kind of go with it. This one is just a little figurine, but I thought they were both really, really cute. And that is a very unique pottery piece. So I decided to get that. Here is their little section of Halloween things. If it was earlier in the year, I probably would have picked up this lantern. I do sell holiday things year round, but I know the closer you get to Halloween, the more popular they are. I just didn't feel like dealing with this for some reason. I, I knew it was old. The cord is old. I just wasn't feeling it. And then I wasn't sure what this was. Jen finding all the good stuff. I wonder if this glows, because did you know some of these glow? Oh, Watch. That's cool looking. Yeah, it's totally on. Sometimes they glow. Yeah. It doesn't glow. I've had one where they glowed. That's really neat. Are you gonna get it? <laughs> it's only $2.99. It's really pretty. That is really cool. You know what it looks like? A mushroom and a jellyfish. Yeah. All right, Jen's getting it all. Is this a jock strap that I'm touching? Yeah. I'll touch it. <laughs> no. I already, that it's goes not. On a, it goes on a dog, I think. It's a muzzle? Yeah. Okay, I'll keep it in the video then. <laughs> While I was checking out another hobbyist piece, this was very nicely done, kind of fall flower themed. Jen found a set of turkey salt and pepper shakers, but unfortunately there was a chip to one of the faces. So we were thinking those would be cute on a Thanksgiving table, but with the chip, we both decided to leave them on the shelf. I like this piece, but I did leave the hobbyist piece behind. I was seeing what these were. They were, um, I think, distributed from CVS. Yeah, CVS Pharmacy. So I did leave those on the shelf as well in their little Halloween section. Seeing if this was ceramic, but it was um, from Kmart. So eventually that will be worth money <laughs> since Kmarts are no longer around anymore. And I decided to move on from the Halloween into their little brown section. Jen found this really cool rolling pin. Uh, so she decided to take that. We were both checking it out. It seemed like it was in brand new condition. So she was pretty pleased with that. I found the Mona Lisa, but I decided it wasn't the original one. So I put that back on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Is it real? Uh, well, sure. It says it right there. The style of the tray after I looked at that doll hair <laughs> is what grabbed my attention with this. This is really nicely done, very detailed. And on the back, it has uh, two words in German, and the second word I recognized is handmade. And so I saw that platter, and then looking at these ponchos underneath that, I just happened to see another platter that also has German handmade. So I was pretty excited to find those. <laughs> she wins again. You won last time too. I thought that this was very nicely done, but I did not like the scratching on the bottom of it and the sound that it had to it. I don't know. It just, it probably was a mistake, but irregardless, someone else came around and, and was holding it and walking around the store. So it went to somebody else, but just the style of it, the scratching, I think is what threw me off on it. Maybe probably from previous use. I couldn't really recognize the maker of it. So that is why I did not get that, even though it was super cool looking. These were really pretty. Uh, there were some big ones and some smaller ones. The silver was in really great shape. I only could uh, find these three, so I put them together. And then we're back in the Christmas section. I'm looking to see if there's any vintage Christmas. The salt and pepper shakers were cute, though, with little puppy dogs. They are ready for Christmas. I almost got this Christmas tree platter. I was thinking to myself when I was looking at this, what's a hobbyist piece, but these are always chipped. Where's the chip? And I almost put it in my cart, and at the very last second, I saw there was a chip there. Not a huge chip, but still a chip. So I left that on the shelf as well. And then there was another pair of salt and pepper shakers, and I thought this plate was pretty, but I decided to leave that there. And then I noticed that there was a whole bunch of these plates. I thought they were Vectorsbach pottery, but they weren't marked. They reminded me of that German pottery. 
And then in another section, someone had made this. This one actually wasn't that bad. It looked like they had glued a candle holder and a plate together. And then I was just rooting around here to see if there was anything interesting. I was making sure these weren't Port Marion. And then this little figurine in the back, dear God, I thought I'd knit something for you. I thought that was sweet. And then they have moved the white stuff over. There's the praying hands, but Jen already had shown those to me. They had moved all the white things over where the books used to be. So there's a bigger section to look at, which is nice. I almost got that tray, but it was pretty scratched up. And then I was looking through the other trays that they had. Uh, this one was heavy, so I left that there. I think it was made to look old. I don't think it was very vintage. I could be wrong. That was just my instinct that it wasn't too terribly old. And then I noticed when I was putting the trays back that there was a recipe box. This one is marked Made in Japan, and I liked how it has the dividers, and those dividers can be moved and rearranged. It does have the roosters on it, but they're not fighting, so I thought it was pretty neat, and I liked how it was stamped on the bottom. This is China Hutch. I wonder what's in here on this China Hutch. Oh, it's China. Made in China. How much are they selling all that for? I don't know. Maybe it's nine ninety nine because this is matches that. There. Assembly. It's either three ninety nine or one ninety nine. The trebuchet. I think they're going to say, yeah, they're going to say it's three ninety nine. Yeah, That's kind of fun. There's two of them. There's, yeah. there's actually 14 of them. There's 14. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's some more china for four ninety nine. Oh, it's not marked. It's not marked. Why? Why aren't you marked? Are you marked on the bottom of the teapot? No. It's really pretty though. Hmm, interesting. Last time I was here on this and this shelf area, I found a bag of pigs. So I was looking to see what was in this bag, and they were just uh, birds, really lightweight birds, probably for floral decorations. And I found this teacup and uh, teacup and two cups. I thought it was really pretty. Um, I decided not to get that and when I was w walking further down in this section this caught my eye it has a receipt like the original receipt for something the bun warmer and I couldn't I didn't see a bun warmer nearby but it had the original receipt there which is always fun to look at and then the original directions that went through it so I was just being nosy and looking over this a vintage ephemera if you will for the hot tray <laughs> and then I found the rest of the trebuchets that Jen had told me that there were 14 of them <laughs> and then we're going to end our trip here to this Goodwill by looking at the toys which doesn't take very long here is everything that I picked up on this trip to the small but mighty Goodwill I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for your support of my channel by subscribing and leaving a comment I hope you're having a super terrific day and I'll see ya.